Hello, I am Mainur Khavi Royan. My ID is 10038159. This presentation covers the coursework 2 of module 6CC515, Emerging ID Products Development. At first, let me tell a story. Khabir is an entrepreneur. He has been planning to start a business of his own. He decided to sell some products. But what kind of products? Then he met Mr. Watson, who is very intelligent. Khabir told Mr. Watson about his problems. Mr. Watson answered all of the questions and gave some suitable solutions. After following the instructions, Kabir became a successful entrepreneur. My presentation is like the story. It is selecting suitable emerging telecom products for online startup store. Let us go through the presentation outlines. By following data for humanity principles, an open data source will be selected, and interesting questions will emerge from it. By developing a requirement specification and relevant analytics, valuable insights will be developed, and they will help to solve the overall problem. Finally, we will justify the approach and give some recommendations. Data for humanity principles have been followed when selecting the open data. This will make sure the project is not hampering anything and creating discrimination, but helping the people in need. Open data is a data that is accessible to all for free. Different open data sources are available for avoiding the risk of creating incompatibility between communities. For this project, I have used the following open data sources. Twitter to gain sentiment analysis of mobile phone users. Bangladesh Telecommunication Regulatory Council for mobile operators and brand. Cyber media research about mobile phone operators and the global economy about the mobile phone prices. Telecommunication is one of the leading industries in Bangladesh. In the recent years, the number of mobile phone users and subscribers have increased dramatically. The figure shows that in 2000, the number of subscribers per 100 people was only 0.21. But in 2014, it increased to the amount of 75.92%. The leading telecom companies are providing different products including telecom service, SIM card, mobile phones, which are very popular. Thus, it is an potential area for startup businesses. For solving the problem, first telecommunication data of Bangladesh is collected. Then we will use IBM Watson Analytics, which is an easy to use service to find answers in data using visualization and smart insights directly on the cloud. It will help to predict and explore the data. Finally, using the smart insights gained from Watson will be used to create an online store using Watson Trade-Off Analytics and Bluemix, which is a platform as a service. This will solve the overall problem. For an accurate and successful analysis, the following things should be considered. Mobile phone operator analysis, their popularity, their packages, and their price tariff list. Then which types of mobile phones are being used, mobile phone brand, and their popularity, the price, their sentiment, review, and trends in social media. Now, let us go to the problems and questions that were selected for this project. First of all, which telecom product should be available for sale? By selecting the most suitable products, the business can run properly. They can sell the sets easily to their customers. Secondly, what kind of mobile phone is preferred by average people? By selecting the best mobile phones, 
that people are going using in recent times will help the company to co-op with the customers and provide them the most suitable products. Which mobile phones should be stocked for a startup company is the last question. By solving these three questions, the startup company can easily start their business and be successful in no time. Now let us see some of the data that we are going to work with. First half shows the mobile phone brand and specification. The other half shows the mobile operators of Bangladesh and some information about them. Using IBM Watson Analytics, the mobile phone operator data of Bangladesh is analyzed. The first figure shows the operator with numbers of subscriber and SIM price. Grameen phone has the most number of subscriber, which is 56.47 million. Then there is Bangalink and Rubik with 32.56 and 28.2. These three are the most popular operators. Then the figure shows that call and internet rate. Among the popular operators, Ruby has the lowest call rate and internet rate. Where GP, I mean Gravin phone, has the highest rate in both services. This figure shows the relation between pricing and network by operator. We can see that Grameen phone has the highest point in case of network, but it has the lowest point in case of pricing, whereas Rovi has second highest in network with 8.5 points and highest point in pricing. Alongside Rovi, Teletalk has the highest point in pricing and 8 points in case of network. The second figure shows the values of customer support points and reliability compared by operator. Yartel has the highest customer support points, but lowest in reliability points. The Bangalink has highest points in customer support and average in reliability. The then Grameen phone and Ruby has average points in both of the criteria. By following inside, we can see that number of FNM drive the point of customer support. To analyze this, regression analysis is used. We can see that the number of FNF has a significant strong effect on customer support points. As the number of FNF increases, the customer support points also increases. The second insight shows the number of packages and customer care points drives customer support. This prediction has 88.88% strength. Operators with more than 35 customer care points has better points in customer support criteria. So the startup online store should provide products of operators that has more than 35 customer care centers. These smart insights are gained from Twitter. Using IBM Watson's strong Twitter sentiment analysis, the popularity of the mobile phones types were determined. First insight shows that Android phones has the highest number of tweets in last 7 days. Then there is iPhone. At the bottom, there is Windows Phone. The location inside shows the places from where the tweets were collected. In this case, we focused on India and Bangladesh. Most of the positive sentiments were collected from here. Some data from China and Australia were also gained alongside this data. The third insight shows the sentiment analysis from Twitter. Android has the highest positive feedback. Then there is iPhone. Both Android and iPhone have similar negative sentiment. This shows that working with Android is the better choice for the online startup company. The first chart shows the mobile phone users per 100 in case of Bangladesh, according to brand. The highest number of users were using Symphony and the amount is 42%. Then there is Samsung and Walton in second and third place with 14 and 12 percent. We can also see Apple, Sony, HTC, Microsoft having 3 percent each. The second chart shows the users per 100 by phone type. We can see that Android has the most users. With more than 60 percent, we can also see less than 10 percent users of Windows and iPhone.
In this slide, we can see an insight showing the relationship between number of handsets and users by brand. From this insight, we can identify the following brands. They are Apple, Sony, HTC, Microsoft, Symphony, Walton, and Samsung. The chart below shows the relationship between lowest and highest price by brand. We can see Apple has highest average price, where Symphony and Walton has lowest average price. In this chart, we can also see that Samsung, Sony, HTC, Microphone, Microsoft is at the average. Now we will predict outcomes of mobile brands of Bangladesh. The first insight shows that brand and highest price can be used to predict as predictive stand is 100% in this case. Grouping the category into high, medium, low helps to reveal additional insights about impact of brand on highest price. Apple has unusually high price, where HTC, Sony, Microsoft, Samsung has medium price. The second insight shows price is a continuous target, so by using linear regression approach, we can find there is a significant strong effect of brand on price. So, the prices is high in popular brands, for example, Apple in this case. The smart insights of this slide shows that Apple brand has highest price. The majority in the market are Android based phones. Among Android, Sony has highest price. Then there is Samsung. At the lowest, we can see Symphony and Walton. In average, we have Asus, Walton, Xiaomi, and Microsoft. These are less popular products. The first smart insight implies that latest operating system versions of mobile has more price and they are more popular. The second insight shows that brand and RAM amount drive the price. So in case of choosing mobile phones, brand, RAM, camera, operating system should be considered. Mobile model is a categorical target for the data set. So logistic regression is used. By performing field transformation, this smart insight is found. By going through the insight, we can select mobile phones which the startup store should sell. In case of Androids, they must select Symphony as it is the most popular one with the lowest price. Then, by selecting Samsung and Walton, they can cover more customers. In order to provide variation, they should consider Apple, HTC, and Sony. Now, we have found the results that we have been working on. First, the startup company should select mobile phone operators such as Gramiphone, Ruby, and Bangalink. They should provide SIM cards, internet service, and mobile banking. Then we have found the Android phones are most popular. The customer choose Android with medium price. Finally, we have determined mobile brands. They are Symphony, Samsung, Walton, HTC, and Apple. Finally, this is the result and develop emerging IT product that has been made using the information and smart insights gained from Watson Analytics. The, the dataset and smart insights has provided all the answers to the question that we required to start this startup business. We have determined what kind of mobile phone operators we will provide and what kind of mobiles we will sell. We have determined the mobile models and put up this website together. Using IBM Bluemix product sets and Watson Analytics, this service has been provided with the emerging IT product that has been developed for the startup company. Smart Telecom Store PD trade of analytics starter application has all the data sets included. Users can explore the data themselves and analyze which mobile phone they should choose. They can also use Watson's intelligent platform to analyze the best matching products for themselves. This smart insight is showing the best suitable products for one of the one of the clients who have given their specification to Watson Analytics. The trade-off analytic starter application is showing that these five mobile phones are the 
best suitable product for the user. From these five phones, the user has chosen Xiaomi Mi 4, which has the best and excellent ex specification in the optimum price. So the user can easily use this service and help themselves to choose the best product for themselves. In order to develop the emerging IT product, several brainstorming sessions have been done. Finally, going through IBM Watson analytics, the best solution was found. Using social media Twitter, the popularity of mobile phone has been analyzed. Then it was decided that an online store with shopping cart will solve the problem. By using IBM Watson analytics, the most suitable products were chosen. Finally, by including trade-off analytics, the users have been given the opportunity to explore the data themselves and use Watson's intelligent platform to make decisions. This project has also, in, has also embodied with all the principles of data for humanity. We can give some recommendations about this project. First of all, we can create interactive and beautiful infographics that will attract the customers. Using IBM Watson Analytics, these infographics can be created. Then different kind of dashboards can be developed using IBM Watson Analytics and they can be embedded into the website. By creating real-time surveys, we can collect more data about the users, their choice and mobile phones. We have used Twitter analysis, but in Bangladesh, Facebook is more used than Twitter. So if we can analyze Facebook with YBM Watson Analytics, then we could give more predictions and they will be more accurate. We can also predict sales and estimate costs using IBM Watson Analytics. This will help to minimize the breaks of the overall process. These are some references that has been used to prepare this presentation. So we are concluding this pre presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.